Hey guys, welcome to this extra video. Today I am going to tell you exactly how much it costs for us to keep five horses. quite often people want to know like how much money does it actually cost you must be rich they say we are not rich we are far from rich I was actually a little curious myself I did not know how much it actually cost us to keep our horses yeah I had no idea so I compiled the numbers and figured it all out for you guys so I'm going to tell you guys right now exactly how much it costs us to have five horses three horses and two ponies. I always say that horses are really, really expensive and after I compiled my costs, I'm actually shocked that they're not that expensive, especially if you have them at home. It's a lot less if you're not boarding them. In the past, I've made videos about how much we spend on our horses and it has included um, boarding our horses, it has included all of our lessons, which is lessons are a big, huge expense because we take a lot of lessons, especially in the winter. Currently, my kids are taking two lessons a week, which is much more manageable. Two lessons a week for two kids is four lessons a week. Um, also, I've included things like shows, which are really extra super expensive, but this video is going to share just the cost of physically having five horses in on our property. Okay, so obviously, the very first thing that we pay for is food every single day, week, month, year, it's all about the food. So uh, I'm gonna start with hay because that is the first thing that we feed. We buy and feed 24 bales of hay in a week. 24 bales of hay in a week in the winter. It varies off and on right now. They're eating a little bit of grass, so it's not as bad. But as a general rule, we pay $5 a bale for 24 bales, which equals to about $480 a month or $576 a year. $576 a year we pay for hay for five horses, which does not seem a lot at all. But if you want to know monthly, $480. So just shy of $500 a month goes to hay. So the next thing we feed is grain. I know not all horses are on grain. Our horses are on grain. Uh, all of our horses get a vitamin grain. It's kind of like an equalizer. Some people call it that. Some people call it, I don't even know what you call it, but it's just like a, a dry grain. There's no molasses in it, no sugar really. And it is, a, I'm down here at the barn with the horses. So if you hear some neighing or some fighting, that'll be at my girls. So we use seven bags of grain every single month, seven bags of grain. So, and actually I'm shocked to know that it only comes to $262.53 a month. $262 in grain. I feel like I spend so much money on grain. I have no idea why. Seven bags of grain comes to $3,150.36 for a year. $3,000 a year on grain. I feel like anybody can afford grain. Okay, so the other thing that we have to have because we keep our horses in stalls lots of times um, at night or during the day if it's really hot out, uh, we use about 20 bags of shavings a week. I don't know if that's high, I don't know if it's low, I don't think it's high for five horses, but we only actually use it for three horses. $135 a week on shavings or $1,620 a year. $1,600 on shavings. The shavings are only good for such a short amount of time. It's like the wasted, the most wasted amount of money that you spend. So another thing that has to happen with horses is that you have to worm them. We worm four times a year. Um, our wormer is about, it's between 10 and $15. So I kept it low. I kept it at $10 for five horses, $50. Um, four times a year, which is $200 a year for worming. Obviously that is the cheapest thing that you're gonna pay for. Okay, so now I've told you how we feed them and that we worm them and that those are all just standard things. Everybody has to do that with their horse. Um, the big fees that we pay, the ones that I hate the absolute most, but they're needed, necessary, most important, a lot more important than food, but they're important. So we pay our farrier about $345 every six weeks. There are extra costs. Lots of times, like you can't just ever get a farrier and be like, 
oh, if I get this horse, it doesn't need shoes, I'll pay $35 a month. That's $35 for a trim every six weeks. Like, that's super cheap, but you can never ever plan that your horse that you get that doesn't need shoes isn't gonna need shoes at some point, or your horse that just needs $120 pairs of shoes isn't going to need studs, or isn't gonna need pads, which are $50. And like, there are so many variables with horses, like you can never count on a horse costing a certain amount of money. It always goes up and down all year. Because Storm has shoes and pads that are an extra $50, he, we pay about three, $3,100 a year for the barrier, which is for five horses, which is not a lot, which I, like that's reasonable. The other big thing that we pay every single four weeks, we pay this every four weeks and it is the hardest thing for me to pay out of it all. It's the hardest thing. I think it is so super necessary though and that is our chiropractor. So you guys know that we have a chiropractor. She comes and she treats all of our horses that we ride, which are three of them. She treats all three of our horses every single month. Some people think that a uh, chiropractor is not necessary, but I promise every single time I'm like, oh, we don't need the chiropractor this year, this month, and I think about skipping it. The minute I skip it, something happens to our horse that I have to call her like every single time. Chiropractor actually vets or actual doctors, people, doctors, chiropractors. If you're gonna be riding your horse, then you need to take care of your horse's back. That's what I believe. And our chiropractor is able to tell us so many things about our horse. She can tell what our horse has been doing. She can tell what our horse needs. Like she has saved our horses so many times. So we pay $380 a month for the chiropractor, which is $4,560 a year, 4,560. That's more than grain almost as much as hay yeah it's a lot it is a lot but very necessary very worth it and i would not even stop i would not trade it for the world horses need a chiropractic care okay so that is mostly it the only other thing that i have on my list is shots so we show our horses i don't know if everybody gets their horses sh their shots i'm pretty sure most people i'm pretty sure a lot of people don't get their horses vetted every year our horses get vetted every year whether whether they need it or not they get get um, their shots every year and they get their teeth done. So our vet is actually coming next week to do our horse's shots. I'm excited, I love when he comes here. I'm so grateful, knock on wood, that we haven't really needed him so much. Our farrier and our chiropractor keep us going. Um, I'm excited for all of our horses to get their teeth checked. Like it's fun. He always shares so much information with us. I learn a lot from him. He's fun. Um, I'm excited to give Willow her shots. Last year I helped him. Oh boy, there are probably some pictures circulating of um, when I tried to help him give Willow <laughs> her shots. It can be pretty fun. Um, I'm excited to see who needs their teeth done. Anyway, I do not know how much that's gonna cost, but I know how much it cost last year, so those are the prices that I um, have written down here. So last year, we spent $1,200 when the vet came. That was all their shots and teeth. Whoever needed their teeth done, got their teeth done. And I think it was just Finn last year. Um, I'm nervous about who's gonna need their teeth done this year. Um, and then he had to come back a few weeks later to do boosters. Uh, a couple of people, a couple of horses needed boosters, um, and that was three hundred dollars. So it cost us fifteen hundred dollars, around fifteen hundred dollars last year, for for their yearly checkup. So, are you ready for it? I I actually was shocked at the number. So altogether, five horses, nineteen thousand eight hundred and ninety five dollars and thirty six cents like under twenty thousand dollars under twenty thousand dollars just to keep them here not to like ride them not to have lessons on them not to like cure any illnesses not to like that's it just to feed them have them sit here twenty thousand dollars for five horses that's it twenty thousand dollars the cost of keeping horses can go up thousands of dollars if you have a medical issue which we have had in the past it can go down if you have grass and you feed less hay in the summertime um there are so many different factors in keeping horses but yeah it costs us under twenty thousand dollars to keep five horses like I could have another five horses and it cost, oh yeah, I could not have another five horses. That would be so expensive on top of all the other things we pay, like lessons. And I'm just gonna figure out really quick, how much do lessons cost? Just like in the summer, Gabby was taking four a week, Sophie was taking two a week, and then Sophie went up to three a week when she started riding with Brandon. So 
yeah, we were going like six and seven lessons a week. So because we had so many horses, we had to exercise. So uh, let me figure out six lessons a week and tell you what it is. Okay, so six lessons a week, which would mean that Gabby would have three lessons a week and Sophie would have three lessons a week is, oh my gosh, $12,480. 12,000. Yeah. I never counted it out to see how much it would cost for a whole year of that many lessons because I didn't want Sam to ever know how much it costs for lessons. So I try and keep that kind of hush hush. But yeah, horses are expensive. It doesn't matter who you are, how many you have, they are expensive. If you needed to, I'm sure you could cut costs. You could maybe not feed your horses any grain. Um, the other thing I didn't talk about was supplements. Supplements are something that every horse gets supplements. I feel like there's a supplement here or a supplement there. There's a supplement to fix every problem and every horse supplement costs between $100 and $2. Most of them, the ones that we buy are about $146, $170. Fly spray every year, we need to buy that. Like there it's, it, it's, it's expensive. It's definitely expensive. Not as expensive as I thought that it was. I think a lot of people can handle Five horses, paying for five horses. Comment below, did you think that it would cost more to have five, five horses or did you think it would cost less to have five horses? If you have horses, um, what do you do differently? What do you pay for differently than we pay for? Um, do you have any tips for making it cheaper? Tell me everything in the comments below what you guys think about what I said in this video. All right, that is it. I am gonna go and watch Gabby ride Finn and we'll see you guys in the next video.